Perfect core progression, zero effort. Even a koala bear could do it. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I made up that noise, but guess what? It is multiplier here, despite the fact you can't see my face. Now that's definitely going to throw off some of you that only watch my videos for my face, but the reason for it is very important. That's because I'm showing you the one thing I like about this particular keyboard here, the Complete Control S25. Although the fact it's a 25 key doesn't really make much of a difference. Now, you may be thinking, wowzers, trousers, why is there only one thing you like about this keyboard? And that is because there is only one reason I like it. I've had it maybe three or four months now, but I literally use it for this one particular thing. And if it didn't have this thing, I would sell it because there's actually quite a lot I don't like about this keyboard. Anyway, I'll get into the stuff I don't like about this keyboard in another video because that will take forever. There is loads I don't like about it. But yeah, let me show you this rad feature, this one reason I keep it in the studio. It is super cool and it looks like this. So what you need to do is turn on the scale smart play functionality and then you need to go to scale configuration bit and kick it into chord set mode. That is where the magic happens, everybody. Chord set mode. Is it, it says something different. Chord set, it says chord set chord. I thought it said chord set mode. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Anyway, chord set mode, I'm calling it. What you can do is literally choose a scale. So literally any scale, any normal scale. Let's go for A because my name is Adam and A is two letters of my name. Uh, where's it gone? That's G, A, 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 got A. And then you choose one of, of a, basically a few different sets of chords. So you have minor chords, major chords. Let's go for major chords. What about the fourth set of major chords? Now, this is where the awesomeness is because right now you're like, What's going on? This is stupid. What I've done is actually load up one of my favorite plugins for making cool sounds or actually using presets because that's what I'm doing right now. And that is Lush 101, which has cool sounds in it. That is loaded up. Now I'm gonna actually show you something. That's just a lot of talking. Check this ish out. So, one finger. Oh, lovely. Lovely too. See how all those chords are amazing? With a bit of trial and error, you can get some magical things happening. It is rad. Basically what is going on, I'm gonna choose a different preset because that preset is pretty lame. I'm going to choose this one, Calypso, because I quite like Calypso's and that's a similar sounding preset. And I'm gonna choose a different scale. What about D? Because my name also has D in it, Adam. It also has a letter D, not just an A. And I'm gonna choose the first set of major chords. Now, the reason why this is amazing and it's the reason I keep it in my studio is every one of these notes in a particular chord set is a chord. So for every note in an octave, that is a magical chord. That sounds amazing. And yeah, if you're not very musical like me and you're not very good at I don't know, music theory, the fact you can just randomly whack away at keys and find an amazing chord progression in about two seconds is pretty game changing. And it is the reason why it still lives in the studio and I haven't thrown it off a boat because I'm always kind of cruising around in boats. Oh, I got an email. I'm going to close that down and yeah, check this out. So. Every note is amazing. Preset is kind of stupid. It's got some saturation on the delay. Don't want some of that. Let's do fairy tale. Oh, that's nice. Zero effort required. Instant chord progression right now using chord set mode. How cool is that? So good. Literally just trying stuff at random. That is how music works. Let's try F minor this time, going into the minor chord sets, minor three.
Instant Song just got another email. Instant Song right there. How cool is that? I just love it so much because I don't know what chords generally sound good. It's all trial and error. So the fact that I can just whack away at single notes, see what chords evoke crazy emotions, because that's what I write in all my songs. That doesn't sound good because it's too low. Eventually, after some trial and error, you find a nice sequence of chords just by bashing away at single notes. And that is magical. Hopefully that magicalness comes through your brains because I, I can't play the piano. I can't do like magical, special three, four, five note chords using my fingers because they don't really work for doing chords. So, but I can do this. Anyone can do that. Even a monkey could do that. And yes, I'm equating myself to a monkey, but even a monkey, I guarantee you, right, Native Instruments, if you're watching this, because hopefully hopefully, loads of people at Nat Native Instruments actually watch my videos, bet they do. Native Instruments, if you're watching this, what you should do to market this thing, now I should, be, I should be charging you for this consulting, but what you should do to market this product, because this only has one good feature, which is chord set mode, what you should do to market this product is give it to a monkey, tell the monkey, right, monkey, only ever play one note at a time, one note, not two, that might get confusing. One note at a time, maybe do a bit of demo for the monkey. And then the monkey will just play a chord and then everyone will be like, wowzers, trousers, bingo, bango, bongo. What's that monkey doing right in a chord progression? That's what will go through their brains. Instant song right there. Okay, this particular octave for this preset doesn't sound cool. You know what? This was going to be like a two minute video, but I'm just having so much fun. I'm going to show you another preset because it is just so rad. Right, so. Uh, righty, after spending 10 to 15 minutes trying out different sounds because I got distracted, that's just what happens in my life sometimes. I have found the final preset to demo this feature I'm in love with using. There's a sentence there, I'm not sure what it is. The preset is called Little Cat in Lush 101. It is so good. And I'm in love with this feature on the Control S series keyboard. So check it out. Final cool little demo. Let's just see what happens. Let's choose uh, D. Now I like G. G is cool. No, M. I was going to say Adam, M for Adam. No, there's no M scale. We're going to have to go for G and one of the major sets. Why not major three arbitrarily? Right, cool. I've done a lot of talking. Let's do some demoing. Check this out. How lovely is that? Instant pop number one is happening. Perfect chord progression, zero effort. Even a koala bear could do it. Even a brain damaged koala bear could do that. Instant chord progression, how easy was that? Literally no practice. I mean, I tried out the sounds before, but I haven't tried this particular chord set ever. It's literally that easy to do amazing chord progressions using chord set chord mode. I call it chord set mode on the Control S series keyboards by Native Instruments. It is so good. It's the only reason I keep it. Oh, I'm just in love with it. You may be able to tell. You know what, I'm going to do one more example because I'm having fun and yeah, it's my video. I'm going to do that because I like it and I'm going to choose E flat and let's go for a minor, a minor chord set. So this might sound a little bit spooky, spooky ghost, don't get too alarmed, don't get too afraid. Let's see what happens. I 
mean, that's a Dead Mouse song right there. Dead Mouse likes his moody, melancholic, good word there, melancholic stuff, chord progressions, melodies, etc. But how cool is that? You can literally just choose a scale, instant chord progression, just try out different patterns. It literally takes anything from two seconds to 11 and a half seconds. Even a koala bear could do it. Even a brain damaged koala bear could do it. That's what I said. That should go on Native Instruments emails out to people they're trying to sell these to because it is cool. But uh, yeah, how cool is that? Right, I've said that a million times, but I'm just in love with that feature. It is amazing. But yeah, if you miss my face, all future videos will include my face. So don't worry about that. Also, I do have a few, either a few short videos or one quite long video coming up, maybe tomorrow, maybe a week from now, who knows about why I don't like this particular keyboard because it has lots of foibles. I think that's a right, the right word, foibles. Foibles, is that, is that the right word? It's got idiosyncrasies, another long word, that doesn't really help. It's got things I don't like about it that are unique to it, especially if you use Ableton. If you use other software, maybe it works a bit better, but especially if you use Ableton, which I know loads of you guys do if you follow my channel, um, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you just have loads of money lying around or you get sent one for free, something along those lines. So yeah, look forward to those videos, but for now, enjoy. Oh, no, I did it wrong. Duh. Right, do it again. How beautiful is that? Oh, I did it wrong again. I can't do this. You get the idea.